Oregon Cash Flow Pro Quick Tip. Hey folks, today's quick tip has to do with maximizing your efficiency when you work at home. Something I think all of us can probably get better at. I know I can. That's how I stumbled across this blog from His and Her Fi. And I will put the link to that blog post in the comments section so that you can check it out because I'm just going to touch on the 10 points that they made in their blog post. So the idea behind this is it's, it's great to work from home, but there can be so many distractions or there can be a lack of distractions when you're super focused and you just work for way too long, forgetting to take breaks or whatever the case. Tip number one is make a list every single night. Creating a list the night before can give your next day purpose and direction. And when you first get started for the day, it gives you something to go off of so you can kind of hit the ground running. So tip number two is to find a reminder system that works. And this is more for larger projects or bigger deadlines that you have coming up, not necessarily your day to day. But even if you're creating a list, you want to have something that you can refer to so you don't let any bigger projects or bigger deadlines fall through the cracks. Tip number three track your time just like you would go and clock in for work if you were going to an employer do the same thing at home that way you know when you're actually working do you want to have your hours set between 6 and 10 a.m or 2 to 4 p.m other people refer to this as time blocking you're setting aside a certain amount of time to make sure that you can get the work done Tip number four is to give yourself a responsibility in the morning or at night. And the idea behind this is to create habits. So if you create a habit where you might go work out before you clock in, that's a great way to set that up. So whatever your morning routine might be or your evening routine, you want to do it consistently and know that that means I work right after that. And the idea behind that is those cues can help your day be productive. Number five set social media constraints. It's so easy to get lost on Facebook or Instagram and you just find yourself scrolling and scrolling for five minutes or 10 minutes or an hour without even realizing it and suddenly you didn't get anything done that day. So social media is a major time suck. Set some constraints and then make sure you stick to it. And their suggestion is there's some apps that you can use that can limit that time. You could just set timers. Uh, there's a few different ideas in there. Check it out. Number six, put a timer on breaks. Now this not only means on breaks you're taking, you set a timer so that you know when to stop the break, but it also means set a timer for when to take the break. Because if you're a workaholic like me, you just go and go and go and you never take a break. And then you find out at the end of the day, oh, I forgot to eat or I should have taken a break and given my eyes a rest at some point during the day. Number seven, Organize your workspace. Organizing your workspace helps with focus and concentration. So the, the suggestion here is to make sure you leave your desk clean and uncluttered so that the next day when you start work, you'll be able to just get started and you won't find yourself doing that at that time. And it also extends to your digital workspace. So they suggest to keep your digital workspace uncluttered. Close those extra tabs things that might be distracting. Tip number eight, get dressed or don't. Uh, it's up to you, but for some people, it really helps to get them in the right mindset when they get dressed for work, just like they're gonna go into the office. So they're setting themselves up, they're creating this habit again. Getting dressed for work means you're going to go to work. You might wanna just work in pajama bottoms, in which case you may come up with a different strategy to get your mindset. But this is a good one for a lot of people to consider. And number nine, respect quitting time. As somebody who's worked from home for a number of years, it's really difficult for me to respect quitting time. I just keep working and working and working. Kids come home, uh, spouse comes home, and I've got more things that I want to work on and I got to do. And so that's something that I'm going to have to work on. But the idea is you want to create that family time. You want to be able to respect that time that you should be doing some other things. And it also gives your brain time to unwind and get into the space of where it needs to be so that you can actually be there with your family. And number 10, be willing to test out your new schedule. So give it a shot. Don't be afraid to tweak it. Add some things. Figure out what's going to work best for you. 
that's it for today's quick tip. Again, this was from a blog that I found, His and Her Fi, and their article about how to schedule your workday from home. So go forth, maximize your time when you work from home. I'm gonna work on it where I work from home. Thanks for watching. I really wanna thank you for joining us today. It's our hope to help you take control of your finances, maximize your cash flow, and reach financial freedom. If you found value in today's video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button here along with the notification bell. That's how we know that you guys are interested and it gets us motivated to put the next video out real quick. If you have any questions or comments, join us in the conversation below and be sure to let us know what financial freedom means to you. Now go maximize your cash flow.